the VDP, I think, has evolved. Um, I think we're in what, what might refer to as the second generation VDP. I think the first one was what we initially saw, right? You had a photo, you had the year make model trim, a couple of things generated from a chrome VIN explosion. And if you were really forward thinking, you had a price and or maybe you just had call for price. I think um, the manufacturer stepped in and saw the value in the web and um, started having a lot of influence on the VDP and has driven a lot of dealers to sites that are um, supported or funded by the, by the uh, OEMs, thinking like a, a dealer.com site um, or a CDK, how they back the GM sites. And I think um, they had put an emphasis on things like photos, um, equipment, calls to action, uh, engagement, and it became important that dealers did things better, right? You had to have a good price. And in some cases, it's CDK with the, the GM, they even controlled price a little bit. I think we're on the cusp of what I might call the third generation of VDP. And it's so important because it's really about the way consumers shop. I think it, it might even be a little bit of the Amazon effect, right? Think about uh, when you get on Amazon uh, website, what do you look at? Well, you got to have something with a really good photo and you got to have something with a really good description. You might even want something with a couple of reviews, right? Something that says that that's a good car or something that shows that it's, it's got a warranty. Um, so is a VDP view important? Yes. Um, is a conversion rate from an SRP to a VDP? Um, I've never been a big believer in that conversion rate driving um, serious heavy decisions when it comes to price um, on a, on a pre-owned vehicle? Yes. Um, one, of the, the no, one of the easiest indicators of, um, for a used car manager to decide when is it to, time to drop the price of an aging vehicle? Um, and interest has always been um, a leading indicator. Um, Somewhere along the way, we said, oh, well, if a person's clicking on it, we must have interest in our vehicle. And I think that that's true. Um, but we can have false positives in the sense that um, I used to you know, run a dealership. And on Saturday morning, if you threw a spiff out on, uh, on the oldest car in inventory, sure enough, if you went out that, that next Monday morning and you checked all the VDPs, I bet you that car had the most VDP views of any car in inventory because you threw a spiff out on it. So um, I think you have to take it with a, a grain of salt and, and mix it with anything else that, that you uh, do to determine price um, when it comes to um, the VDP.